today, the television company of Western Armenia represents the most important news for today, today's broadcast. The subject of the day with Grigory Mirzayan. The ninth issue of Western Armenia magazine was published. CNN reports the reaction of the government at this distortion of Armenian place names by Baku. The Caucasus Fund of Nature provided 1 million euros to Eastern Armenia. Island Akhtamar was illuminated. Monuments of Agavnoi were erected. The deputy of the third convocation of the National Assembly of Western Armenia, Grigor Amir Zayan, reports in his microblog that in 2024, the restoration on the Translator's Church in Aigeshat and the Zidanavor Church of Parpi will continue in Eastern Armenia. The restoration works of the Translator Church of Surp Astvatzatzin uh, were started in 2012 by the state order and were stopped in 2017 due to insufficient funds. You can watch Grigor Amirzanyan's analysis on the topic on Western Armenian TV on YouTube page. The Western Armenian magazine number no. 9 has been published in the new magazine. You can read the historical reminder series, which once again reminds that uh, in 1919, on February 26, the chairman of the Armenian national delegation, Boros Nubar Pasha, presented a memorandum to the Supreme Council of the Allied Powers about Armenia. In the ninth issue of the Western Armenian magazine, you can read the messages of the president of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian on the occasion of the 19th anniversary of the establishment of the National Council of Western Armenia. This time, the Sons of Western Armenia is uh, dedicated to heroes Ruben Hambartsumian, Edgar Bagumian, Kim Khachaterian, Arin Hovanisian, Artur Agassian, Digran Sahaikian. The Armenian, English and French versions of the magazine can be downloaded in PDF format by following link. CNN reports that Baku is worried that ethnic nationalism and promises of territorial reunification will find new targets, and Armenia is trying to accept more than 100,000 refugees. Many of them say that they cannot adapt to their new lives. A refugee who fled from Stepanakert with her husband, twins, and parents said to CNN that her thoughts are still in Artsakh. Aliyev said that the houses were left intact, but videos on social media showed that the Azerbaijan military vandalized them. Diplomacy can be ineffective again. Analysts point to Baku's growing military presence. The Armenians of Artsakh have always known that they are at the center of the conflict between the great power states, but after 40 years of peace, they didn't expe expect that things to fall apart so quickly. The government Shirvan Nakhichevan Pan Armenian Union issued a statement regarding the distortion of Armenian place names by Baku. One of the important directions of Azerbaijan is the distortion of Armenian place names. The Azerbaijan social political propaganda machine widely distorts not only history through all channels, but also tries to distort public and popular perceptions of Armenian and Armenian inspired place names. First of all, the Armenian place names of Nagorno Karabakh are the victims of this struggle. At the international level, Azerbaijan is trying to achieve the alienation of Stepanakert, which has not been Azerbaijan even for a moment in the history. Azerbaijan trying to deprive both nagorno karabakh and the Stepanakert of any closeness to Armenians and Armenians. Azerbaijan should have realized so far that the superficial distortion of the names can never force the people who are originally connected to the given settlement and can lose their intellectual mentality. The remarkable Nakhichevan, where no Armenians remains today, continues to be characterized as an indicator of Armenians in both Armenian and global perspective, because only the thousand year of settlement and the spiritual culture were created by Armenians that can be real cultural and spiritual evidence from the past that those were only Armenian settlements. In 2023, the Caucasus Nature Foundation implemented many projects aimed at the effective management and protection of the specially protected natural areas of Eastern Armenia. The foundation presents information about the works implemented in 2023. In general, support to Armenia was provided. The total value of the contract is 300,000 euros. With the participation of the Caucasus Nature Foundation, Wikimedia Armenian held the contest entitled Wiki Loves the Country, the winners of which were awarded by CNF. In the course of 2023, 10 videos films were shot with the hieroglyph company dedicated to the guard working in specially protected areas of nature. 2024 is a jubilee year for the Armenian representative of the Caucasian Nature Foundation. The 50th anniversary of activity in Armenian will be celebrated, which means that more new and interesting programs will be held. 
Agungnet informed that artificial lightning has been provided for Ahtamar Island and Holy Cross Church. According to the source, Ahtamar Island, one of the more significant historical monuments of one, included in the temporary list of UNESCO's World Heritage, was presented to the public in a new way, being equipped with artificial lightning. Armenian Church of the Holy Cross of Ahtamar Island, located in Van Gevash province. The church was opened as a monument museum. Masses are allowed in this Armenian church only once a year. In the published photo, it is noticeable that the cross on the dome of Armenian church is not illuminated. The modern Khachkar was located next to the Serpos Nahagata church in Agavno village. The memorial dedicated to the memory of the warriors who died in the battle for self-defense and liberation of the surroundings area. And in the end, Western Armenian TV reminds once again that today at 19 at Paris time and 22 at Yerevan time, a Zoom meeting will take place during which the deputies of the National Assembly of Western Armenia will summarize the year of 2023. This was all for today. Goodbye. Oh,